Hey, it's Rihanna. Welcome back to my channel and another episode of Tasty Tuesday. Today I'm going to be making a keto-friendly cheddar cheese stuffed meatloaf. So stay tuned. The ingredients for this recipe will be listed down below, but you will need two pounds of ground meat, two eggs, garlic powder, Parmesan cheese, a small onion diced, and half a cup of cheddar cheese cut into cubes. So I'm dicing up some onions. I'm gonna finish dicing it. I'm gonna cube up the, shed the cheddar cheese. And then you're gonna combine everything but the cheese in a bowl. Okay, so as you're stuffing it into the meatloaf pan, you're gonna wanna go ahead and start putting the cheese in it. You can put the cheese in after the fact and just push it in, but I find that it's kinda difficult to get it spread out. So I'm just gonna do it this way instead. And this is why I do the cheese the way that I do, because if you were trying to put all the cheese in at this point, it'd be really difficult to get it in there. So, with only a few pieces of cheese, it's a little bit easier. Okay. Cover up the cheese. Okay, now place in the oven and cook for one hour. Okay, it's been 45 minutes. It's not done yet. Um, one of the things that I learned from my BFF Crystal when she makes her meatloaf is she drains the grease um, as it's cooking. And then she'll use this to make like a tomato gravy to put on top of the meatloaf whenever it's done. Okay, so I'm gonna place it back in the oven now. for about another 15 minutes or until it's done. And then what I'm gonna do with this is start the gravy. So on a very low heat. Okay, now normally before keto, and actually after keto, I'm not gonna lie, I usually do this with a tomato sauce. Not like a spaghetti sauce, but just like a small jar of tomato sauce. Um, but I don't have any right now, but I do have this um, classic tomato ketchup. It came in my keto crate. And it only has what one net carb, excuse me, per tablespoon. So I'm gonna put a couple tablespoons in here and I'm gonna make a gravy. Okay, it's been a little over an hour, so we're gonna take it out, take its temp, and see if it's done. Here is the finished product. It's not, you know, it's a meatloaf, so it's not gonna be the prettiest thing to look at, but it's so good. It did take mine a little bit longer to cook, but I think that's because my oven is gas and I don't think it's getting to temp, but that has nothing to do with the recipe itself. So I hope you try out this Tasty Tuesday recipe. If you do, leave a comment down below and let me know. If you have any suggestions for recipes that you would like for me to try, let me know about that as well. Subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to click the thumbs up button and I will see you guys next time. Bye.